Welcome to Poseidon Tech. These are some of my favorite sweet spot devices, which I use almost every day. But today we have a new addition, the sweet spot Hub 2, an all-in-one smart home hub, which has the screen in order to show the temperature and the humidity. It has some lunch buttons for scenes. It can replace the home hub, the IR and the buttons, and also provides wireless remote access. Let's leave these products aside because I have the feeling that this hub will replace all of them. Let's unbox it. First of all, we see the actual hub with this white matte finish. Apart from the actual hub, inside the box you can find some paper. User manual. A charger. Some 3M tapes. And this USB cable, which is not just a normal USB cable. As you can see, it's a USB A to USB C. And also has here the temperature and humidity sensor. And this 3M tape in order to avoid moving around. Let's get a closer look to the actual hub. As you can see, it has here this stand which you can lift, some instructions, and here is the USB Type-C connector. Let's connect the cable. And our device is ready to be powered on. Once it is powered on, you can see in the main screen the temperature, the humidity and the two smart buttons, which we can trigger some scenes or enable disable the screen. The size of the Hub 2 is similar to the Meter Plus. Let's focus on the Hub 2. As you can see, you can turn off the screen or turn it on and of course trigger some scenes, but we'll check this later. Now it's time to go to the SwitchBot app and connect the device. Select Add Device. The Hub to already appear here. Long press on the two buttons. And our device is connecting. Select the Wi-Fi network and the password. Please have in mind that it needs to be 2.4 GHz, it doesn't support 5 GHz. And after a couple of steps, our device is trying to connect to the router, connect to the network. And we are ready. Change the name if you like to do so. Select a room. And perfect. Everything is configured. Even Alexa identifies the new device and connects it to the skill. Now let's open the device in the SwitchBot app. As you can see, we can clearly see the temperature, the humidity and the light level in this room. At the bottom we can add some scenes to the buttons. And also we have the option to add remote control. Here we can either add the new appliance or copy from the existing one. As you can see we have already two from the previous version of the SwitchBot Hub, which we select and we press copy. And these two devices are automatically copied to the new SwitchBot Hub 2. Now on the touch buttons area, here you can see that we can enable disable the backlight control and add some scenes. Time to go to settings. Under the settings, 
we can find the Wi-Fi settings, IP address, Wi-Fi SSID. Under the display settings, you can enable disable the indicator light, the temperature and humidity reading, add some auto adjust brightness, or even enable disable the sound. A lot of configurations here. Under the desired conditions, we can enable temperature alerts or humidity alerts, which can include sound, light or both. Of course, you have the option for calibration. Enable cloud services as in all SwitchPod devices for Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa. Also, we have the option to enable some actions for the NFC, mostly on the remote controls. And finally, matter configuration, which is the most important. As you can see, it is not connected yet, but we have this number, the QR code, which will help us connect this device as a matter device. First, you need to long press the two buttons on the screen for 15 seconds. And once the device is on pairing mode, you can press connect. It will navigate you automatically to Apple HomeKit. From here, you can select add new accessory. More options. Enter the code. And paste the code you have just copied. Press add to Apple Home. And after some seconds, we get a prompt to add the location for the bridge. Give a name to the bridge. and press continue. Now we need to add the accessories. The humidity sensor has been already identified. We need just to press continue. Select a room, like in all HomeKit accessories. And that's it. Next one is the temperature sensor. Same procedure, and that's it. Let's go to home settings, select the bridge, and as you can see, the two accessories has been already added. It needs some time to be calibrated and read the value. Now it's time to go back to the SwitchPod application and add some secondary devices. We are under the Matter Configuration tab. And here you can see appear the other secondary devices. We select them and press OK. So now these secondary devices are also available in the Apple HomeKit. So easy. Back to HomeKit application under the bridge. As you can see now we have four accessories. The two sensors with actual value and the two curtains. Now it's time to add Hub 2 to Home Assistant as a matter device. In order to do so, press Turn on Pairing Mode and copy the code. Let's go to Home Assistant and add the devices and services. Add integration, add matter device. More options. Paste the code we got from the Apple HomeKit and press Continue.
After some seconds, the accessories will be identified. And we'll get the prompt to provide the name for the accessory. Select the name and press continue. And then done. That's it. We are ready. Our four matter devices are connected to Home Assistant. Here we have the humidity sensor, the temperature sensor, the first curtain, and the second one. And as you can see, we have full control. Perfect, very easy integration for the matter devices. And here under the integration, you can see that we have five devices, the hub and the four accessories. Our thoughts on the hub tool? Very positive. We really like it. First of all, it is a matter device. Apart from that, it provides smoothly integration to many platforms, as it is expected, of course, from a matter device. Also, it can replace the SwitchPod hub, the SwitchPod button, and of course, a temperature sensor. All in one. It's a perfect device for a smart home hub. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.